Pwede akong hawak dito? Pwede, pwede. Okay. Pwede. <laughs> pwede na yan! <laughs> Takot ako! Pwede <laughs> I will start to learn a new skill. Metal working. I do the document shop from ground zero, so you will see me make mistakes, you will see me fail, and that's okay. Wala naman nagsisimula na automatic magaling agad. You can learn everything you want. Hindi ko alam kung ano yun. But I'm telling you now, learn something, acquire new skill, at tulad ng anak mo, tulad ng anak ko, never stop asking questions. But of course, kailangan natin ng support. Enter Lotus Tools Philippines. Lotus Tools Philippines full-heartedly supported me on this metalworking series that I will produce here in Film That Build. So, thank you, Lotus. And on this first video, we are going to set this Lotus MIG welding machine up. Ano bang mga kailangan to make this work properly? And I will also discuss two reasons why I chose MIG welding instead of other types of welding machines. Okay first, why MIG welding? Dalawang reason. For me, number one, beginner friendly. Based sa research ko, ang pag-aaral ng stick welding ay sobrang frustrating. At pag na-frustrate ka, mangangayaw ka. So, dun tayo sa easy route. Kaya, I chose MIG welding. Number two, hindi naman ako gagawa ng building. So, hindi naman structural yung gagawin ko. So, kung structure yung gagawin mo, go ahead, learn stick welding. But as for me, Okay na ako dun sa paggawa ng mga simpleng furniture na may incorporation ng wood kasi feeling woodworker ako. But a quick note guys. Ako yung taong ni hindi pa nakakahawak ng kahit anong welding machine sa buhay ko. I don't even know how to hold a grinder properly yet, so this series will definitely give you a list of what not to do. Kasi sigurado, magkakamali ako. And you have to take note of those mistakes. Okay? Okay, ano bang mga kailangan ng isang MIG welding machine since gas type to? Number one, MIG wire. Medyo less hassle to kasi ang tatandaan ko lang is yung available size ng roller na nakapak sa welding machine, available size ng tip, at ang napili ko is 0.08. Makikita nyo yun sa loob ng roller, makikita nyo yun dun sa tip. Pagdating naman sa size ng spool, depende yon sa welding machine. And this specific machine, it can carry 5 kg and 15 kg. So I chose 15 kg. How much? 15 kg cost me, I think, 1,900 to 2,000. Limut ko na kasi tinago ko ang yung receipt. gas tank. Ito yung una kong kapalpakan. Nasa sobrang ka-excited din, ang nabili ko ay argon. 100% argon. There are actually three types of gas na pwede mong gamitin sa welding machine. Number one, argon. Number two, CO2. Number three, arco. Arco is a combination of argon and carbon dioxide. 75% argon, 25% CO2. 
So, ang nabili ko nga is Argon. So, mali yun. It's a wrong, wrong choice of gas type. Kasi marami nag-comment na, don't use Argon, that's for tank. Neren ko tong gas tank na to for 5,000 pesos at ang laman is 1,100 pesos. Costing me 6,100 pesos at may kaunting kurot na ni Mrs. sa tikilira. Number 3, Regulator. Sa tulong ni Sir Lito Manansala at ni Mix Villa, sinabi nila sa akin na kapag gagamit ka ng pure CO2 sa big welding machine, dapat ang regulator na bibilin mo ay may kasamang heater. I was like, what the heck? Ni hindi mo alam kung ano regulator sa sasama ano pa ng heater. Okay, okay lang. Sige, dali lang. So, I went online. I checked Lazada. And lucky enough, there's a power craft brand na nabili ko. Costing me 2,500 pesos. At syempre, nakasimangot na si Mrs. Lon. So, excited na ako. Sabi ko, sa wakas, matatry ko na to. I was wrong. Kulang pa rin. I need a gas hose. Anong klaseng gas hose? High pressured gas hose type. And luckily, meron na dito sa area na. No, ikakabit ko na siya sa regulator. Problema na naman. Ang nabili kong regulator ay threaded. So, kailangan ko ng fittings. And after 3 hours of looking around, nakabili ako ng fittings. This time, wala ko na yung regulator. Para sure. Sabi ko sa wakas, ito na yun, matatry ko na siya. Hindi pa rin pala. Since super concerned ako sa safety, hindi ko alam kung ano mangyayari kapag sinaksa ko lang siya sa regular na, na socket or na plug. So tawag ako ng electrician para magpakabit ng breaker. Ang pinakabit kong breaker is 40 amps, I think, or 30 amps. So yung pagkakabit ng breaker at sa mga kuryente staff, bahala na kayo doon. Mag-hire na kayo ng electrician para sigurado. Okay? Documenting how to learn a skill from scratch is really a dream project for me, which will hopefully, hopefully inspire some of you guys to go ahead, learn something new, acquire a new skill, don't be afraid to make mistakes. At kung nagustuhan niyo tong video na to, please subscribe to my channel, like my Facebook page at Film That Build. So sa next video na then, I will discuss some of the basic tools for metal working that I acquire at magbibuild tayo. We will build a welding cart. Okay, so till next time, adios amigos.